And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Taric. All right, we're going to be playing this deck by popular demand. We're going to be trying out uh, our newest champion, Riven, with Taric. We've been playing Draven Taric a whole bunch uh, last set, as you know, uh, last expansion. And we're going to be doing basically the same kind of deck, but fitting in our newest champion, Riven, here. So three mana, three, four. And then, of course, Riven will um, each, uh, like whenever you gain the attack token, you get to reforge. So uh, Riven's going to be reforging and creating all of these cool little uh, uh, blade fragments and then trying to create the Blade of the Exile. And those Blade Fragments just give you more and more spells for your Taric and for targeting your units for Taric. So they do you know, kind of naturally work well together. We're going to want to be attacking, of course, with all those Blade Fragments and everything. Um, so we'll see how this works. Like Draven's very strong, though, with the 3-3 the, uh, three, three Quick Attack coming on in here. Um, besides that, I didn't really feel like putting in any of the other, like too many of the other Reforge cards. I just don't think that they're, I've been kind of disappointed with some of the other Reforge cards. Uh, we are playing Rune Weaver though. You know, whenever Rune Weaver is summoned, we'll Reforge. So that's our other way to get some, um, Reforge cards. As far as other new cards, we got Sharpened Resolve. Is This looks like to be a pretty good, uh, burst spell. Give an ally plus three, plus two this round. We get to copy that over with Taric. Um, so that, that one looks pretty good. We're going to be trying that one out. Um, and there we go. We'll get a couple of Bastions in here to copy over. And this one should be pretty good. All right, so Riven Taric, let's go play our five games in rank. This one's going to be, you know, about curving out and using, um, using our spell mana for combat tricks. And we're starting against Gohard. Okay. I think we mulligan second Taric. Even though I, I do like second Taric. I could see keeping second Taric. Obviously, we're going to keep the, the Mountain Goat, and, you know, we like the, sh the Sharpened Resolve with the Taric is good. Um, I'll just mulligan second Taric. Yeah, 5-1 Challenger in here definitely works with, especially with, um, with the Quick Attack from the Riven. Those work well together. Alright, good block by them. I was honestly kind of hoping they didn't block. So the problem with playing Riven is that then I don't get to go Taric into Sharpened Resolve, which is really what I want to do. Oh, this card's really annoying. So I want to play Solari Soldier this turn, and then go Soldier, and then next turn Taric, you know, because I want to next turn go Taric into Sharpened Resolve, but maybe I'm just not able to do that. I guess I'm not able to do that. I still can go. I guess like I guess no. I guess this makes sense. So we have our one mana. The you know this will reforge and make a one mana spell for us. Um, so we can go Taric into that one mana spell. We have the gem, but we probably would rather play one of these blades. Yeah, with the overwhelm. Okay, so this this works. We're just not doing the sharpened resolve yet. All right, I'll go gem instead. Shatter that. Never submit. Get the heal for one going. This is kind of rough because I, I want to keep up protection. It also means I don't get to play Culling Strike. Our 
Alright, we'll just play this Solari Soldier, keep the protection available. So we're at 3 out of 7 right now. We get another Blade Fragment, that could be like 4, 5, a Sharpened Resolve, 6. We have to go both Sharpened Resolves I'm to get to 7. Okay, so that's not going to happen. Plus two plus zero. Now we have Pill Cascade. We can copy that over. It's not the easiest to sequence. So I'm, I'm worried about Vengeance. So I'm thinking that Bastion's going to be important for Vengeance. No turning back now. To protect all, follow the horizon. Unyielding. Seven out of seven. We'll see, maybe I could have done this better. I don't know, this is just really t tricky to navigate. Maybe I should have gave the Taric Overwhelm first. And then done that. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Probably could have killed them last turn, but I don't know if I could have through a vengeance if they did have vengeance. Keep up, keep up. This is bad news if those are both um those are both gohards. This is bad news. So I think I want to have the Overwhelm go over. So let's see, let's start with Sharpened Resolve, <clears throat> level up. There is nowhere left to go but up. Sharpened Resolve again. I'll overwhelm. Fly to them on broken wings. Look sharp. Overwhelm here. And I still have Bastion, if for some reason we need that. But these, they can't take damage, they can't die, they're both Overwhelm. It's 15 damage coming in. There we go. Alright, 1-0. I, I don't really know exactly what else it would be. Yeah, I don't know if you'd do like Teemo Sejuani with Ballistic Bot. Exactly how the ballistic bot Sejuani would look, but that is a nice combination for sure. All right, yeah, that felt good against the Go Hard deck. All right, let's see. Definitely keeping Cooling Strike against Braum, um, and then we'll get rid of Elixir of Wrath. We'll keep you know one drop, two drop, kind of maybe look for our champions that are going to be pretty powerful. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Punish transgressions. You went 18 and 2 with Gohard last night. Yeah, that, that is an incredible record. I'll just get the attack in. I won't get too greedy by playing the Ballista first. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. Um, 
Alright, found a Tarek. So if we play Tarek, we're just going to be gemming Tarek. I'm going to do this before they attack with something else. Maybe we just buff, buff this up to three. Or like before they play other things to block. See, maybe I should have. Uh, yeah, maybe should have just played out other attackers. Riven. So I want to play Riven this turn, which you know makes me wish I would have gone Taric Precious Pet last, you know, for the five man instead of these two for the five mana. Because if I play Riven this turn, I don't get to open attack with Taric. But the reason to play Riven this turn, of course, is because we want to play it on their turn so that whenever we you know goes to our turn, we get the Reforge. You must teach me. When you have time, don't think about it. Break the ties that bind. I don't carry change. Yeah, we leveled Zoe a few times whenever we played Zoe the other day. We got some Zoe levels. We did play like a Zoe mirror match where we both had leveled up Zoe. Plus two, plus zero. Peculiar block. But I guess it's one that keeps them alive. I was expecting yeah. this kind of thing they were gonna be blocking Zoe with the four the seven four, but I guess with the overwhelm they couldn't do that. Flee now or burn. I don't like my I don't like either choice. I feel like we're ahead, I don't really want to flee now, but burn, that doesn't sound like a good choice either. Is there another one somewhere? Does Bastion stop that? I should. Should just be one skill. Yeah. When will I find peace? Can only be found within. You will not break me. Whoops. Guess I should have blocked with with Tarek. Huh. This is all right. So we we played like the you know, the Vladimir Brom deck the other day, and this is what I was talking about afterwards with the deck with of like. You just need, like, this deck needs, like, the Overwhelm stuff to get through to be able to uh, win games. And that's, you know, pretty impressive there. From 19, killed me in one shot. Wow. Victor Ezreal. All right, let's try. We have the attack token turn six. All right, we'll mulligan Kato, Victor Ezreal. Let's keep Might. Ooh, glad we kept Might with that Tarek.
the thing is, is so yeah, I guess yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna have to cast the blade fragment on turn four. You know, we don't get to we're not gonna have might on turn four with Terex. We want to spend the three mana on the Riven. So they are an Ezreal deck. So Ezreal, Ezreal decks usually play a lot of spells that are good at, at killing small things. You know, could have like Static Shock, that kind of stuff. Don't blink, or you miss me. What's a warrior but hands to wield a weapon? Plus the two plus zero. To aim its sure. All right, not killing the three one. They are killing three one. from my path. I still can't find peace. There is nothing so broken it cannot be mended. So we have Overwhelm and the plus two plus zero. Definitely hoping they don't kill Riven this right now. Okay. Violence to end violence. So probably gonna need to just Bastion Riven this next turn in response to the Mystic Shots. Okay, we do have a new Riven. Yeah, the problem is I can't really just play a good amount of stuff. Can only like play one thing and then keep and play one thing, keep three spell mana available. Humanity is obsolete. Can you improve perfection? Alright, let's go, Tarek. There was a sword, only shards remain. Broken gems show new facets. Never ends. I'm so good, I surprise myself. That's so much removal. To protect all. Where we're at, we're just at one right now. We have two mites in hand right now. Doesn't really matter cast it, casting this blade fragment or not. That's you know, I obviously couldn't target Tarek with anything else because we need to copy Bastion over. But I was thinking like maybe do we cast like this blade fragment to give this Riven overwhelm, basically just help the Tarek with the four out of seven. But there's just not really a, a reason to. I don't think, because you know, I give this thing overwhelm, they can just block the Taric, and like they're both four damage, so it doesn't really matter Admire either way. Later. No, I I understand that I I have known I can't cast it during combat the whole time. I understand what the card does. Um, Three with two e's. I either get one Kato. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. One Kato or two Iron Ballista. For open attacks. It's also possible I don't open attack. I guess I don't necessarily have to open attack. So what am I worried about them doing? Playing like a thermogenic beam, but I already played a couple of thermogenic beams, like an aftershock.
Just gonna open attack. We have the two mites. Be able to help finish this out. I just passed to me. That's negative one. We'll do that. Alright, GG. So much overwhelm. That was nice. We had, you know, two of each of our champions. That was very nice. Yeah, the Paddle Star card's not bad for a removal spell. Yeah, Paddle Star is definitely reasonable. Tom Kench Soraka. Tom Kench Soraka is a difficult attack to defeat. Let's keep Kato with having the attack token on turn five. Looking for Tarek. That's the best. Our best draw step is Tarek. Because then we basically, you know, have Soldier, keep the two spell mana for Pell Cascade, Ballista, Tarek, Kato, Pell Cascade. Devotion to battle. Yeah, calling, calling Strike definitely awesome for this matchup. So it looks like we're probably not going to have that curve anyway, because we're going to have to... Probably going to have to Culling Strike one of their champions. That'd be my guess. I'm still good to scrap! They'd have their 3-1 challenge, my Ballista, anyway. Keep our spell mana. It is me. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, but I know them all. Follow the horizon. I give you monsters. All right, good fill cascade. to eight. I don't think I need to use like, you know, Elixir of Wrath and, and kind of surprise them now. We, we gotta be worried about Hush and um, you know, like with these pump spells with Hush. Oh, right. I brought back Protector. is gonna be healing their Nexus and everything too. That's always annoying. Up to it, Ely. Round up those stars. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, basically, yeah, we're not playing the Blade Squire one mana unit that has Reforged just because. We're all family here. Um. Ooh, you wish nah. Because it's just a one two, so it just doesn't attack for very much, and and I think that we need to be more aggressive. I like the one drops that we have, um, oh, size wise, instead. Okay, let's see. Punch it. Conflict awaits. There we go like this. Alright, we give something plus two plus zero and something quick attack. Let's give you quick attack. You plus two plus zero. Alright, got rid of got rid of the hush. Sure hope they don't have another hush. Because if not, that's lethal. There we go. GG's. 
Three and one. Ooh, Katarina, Lucian, Garen. I'm kind of scared of this deck. This probably has the three mana landmark, which is scary, which means that we need to outrace that. Let's definitely Mulligan Bastion. Um, Mulligan Elixir, because we need more threats, but Might is just kind of too... That card's too important, I think. Uh, but we like to see our champions. I do not want to see the I do not want to see the Grand Plaza. The new Demacia landmark. Please do not play that card. I think it's worth getting the other attacker in. Yep. And that's why. Need to get the damage in. Man, that Grand Plaza card. It is something else. It is really something else. I, I, I'm surprised this is a card. This card is so ridiculously good. It's it's the best non-champion in the set. Or in, in the expansion. It's the best one. A 5-5 challenger with barrier, a 4-3 challenger, and a 2-2 challenger. All of that on turn 4. That is incredible. Simply incredible. No, uh, Ichi Musai, no, there's no, no difference between money donation decks and channel point donation decks or played or handled. Nope. It just, I just like rewarding the people that are here in chat watching, you know, watching the stream and everything. So, you, you know, you can use your channel points for donation decks. Or, of course, um, the preferred method to help pay bills for me is, you know, the money donation. But, you know, either way, they're, they're the same thing. Bless the people and fear the heretics. I'm not really sure how we can possibly win, to be honest. I don't know if My we can. Yeah, I don't know if we can. Devotion to battle. Hold fast. Yeah, that is true. If you go turn two, Curse Keeper, turn three, Plaza, then you, and then Ravenous Butcher. Turn them both into Challengers that turn. That's pretty incredible also. Yeah, Grand, Grand Plaza is definitely the best non-champion in the set. No going back. Quick as the blade. They'll never know what killed them. The the problem yeah, with or or pesky, the the problem with that is you have to play pesky. You just play good cards instead. I guess pesky's good with Grand Plaza. It's just not good any other time, but it is good with Grand Plaza. For for that style of deck. Now there there's a different style of deck that you can play. Overwhelm? Okay. How can that help? 13 damage? How am I dealing 13? Beauty and life. That's my bad. We were just kind of talking. I was thinking about Pesky and everything. I, I shouldn't have played that 3 1 into the Blade's Edge. That's kind of my bad. I write the rules of power. Okay, Might's the card we need. <laughs> he would have done the same, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I 
Kind of forgot about that, my bad. All right, so Might takes up three mana. That means I have three other mana, so I can go, like, one fragment and two gems. Show them what we're made of. Gosh. Grand Plaza is unbelievable. Submit. Alright, that's the best I can do. Ichimusai! Hey, thank you so much for the donation deck. Okay, a victor, create a victor swain deck. Can do. Alright, do you have, do you have a preference on what day you'd like to see the deck? Yeah, like to either tomorrow or... Tomorrow or Sunday or then or next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It won't be on Monday, of course, but it means here Monday. Alright, not sure if we can steal another five damage. But we're going to try. We need to like draw an overwhelm unit. No, wait, no, 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 never mind. This thing gives overwhelm, so. Let's see. Break their ranks! It is Stay resolute. All right, something good. Rats, that was our shot. Now they just get more attacks with Katarina and. Yeah. yeah, so that, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I ended up losing, losing that one, but, you know, that's that's just Grand Plaza. You know, Grand Plaza is just too good, and no shame in losing to Grand Plaza. We did draw lots of spells, but, um, you yeah, know, that's, that's going to happen sometimes. I have 14 spells in here, which I think is a, a fine number to have with Tarek, because you don't want to have, like, just Tarek and all units, and you don't have spells. You, you, you do need some spells in this kind of deck, and I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, you know, they just got to kill all of my units all the time with uh the grand plaza with you know everything challenging every turn that that card's just incredible i can't really say that enough you know like we played that uh you know yesterday with katarina and grand plaza and super super impressed with that um and yeah i think i think house spider probably needs to go in that deck because um we talked about that also yesterday but yeah house spider seems amazing as a two drop with grand plaza um yeah, that, that turn four, that turn four. So turn four, they played a 5-5 five, five challenger with barrier and a 2-2 two, two challenger and a 4-3 challenger. All, all attacking on turn four. That's just, that's just incredible. And then of course, you know, Garen being a 6-6 six, six challenger with the regeneration, um, you know, your Katarina having the quick attack challenge that bounces back, your Scythria 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, it's just, it's, an, it's insane. All right, but there we go. So that's that's Riven Tarek. Um, happy with this deck, though. I was I was uh, you know, very happy with this deck. Uh, I think we did good against like the Ezreal deck that had tons and tons of removal. Yet we still uh, finished that game out. Um, the Riven looked good. Riven, I was you know, I wasn't sure if Riven would look better than Draven, but I, I was definitely impressed with Riven. The different blade fragments did uh, did well at different times, especially having one that can give the overwhelm. The quick attack can be nice too, but you know, you just want lots of ways for overwhelm with this kind of deck whenever you're buffing stuff up. So yeah, very happy with the Riven. Um, I think that, that that fit well in here. The Rune Weaver died pretty easily, but you know, that's just kind of the cost of doing business with getting that extra Reforge card. Um, Sharpened Resolve we never really used. It, it looked it looked expensive, to be honest. At, at three mana, it was a hindrance at three mana. I'm, I'm not sold that Sharpened Resolve is better than Transfusion still. And, uh, because I've always liked Transfusion. I like how Transfusion's two targets for leveling up Taric, and uh, it doesn't copy over, but it's the two targets. But I, I love the two mana. I love the save two mana for Pill Cascade slash Transfusion. Um, I think that that works really well. You know, you can play one drop, turn two, save your mana for that. Because then, because you, you really want to have, you know, like Riven on three, Taric on four, 
um, than be able to play a spell and you can't play Sharpened Resolve most of the time with that. But if we're doing that, Riven's giving us the Reforge cards so we get to play those Reforge cards as well and copy those over. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's Riven at Tarek. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.